It's kind of becoming a habit to break out of sweat before 8 a.m. anymore. You know, I got out here this morning and took the forms off wonky wall. Doesn't look too bad. Although it appears that there's a bow in that side, there really isn't. It's just the wide angle lens that it makes it appear to bow a little bit. So what you're seeing is actually a straight line. So that project's done. I'm not gonna worry about it anymore. It'll serve its purpose. Got all the dirt back in there, looks good. And now we're ready to drop a driveway in there whenever the time comes. We were told the electricians would be back today. As soon as they get here, I need to make contact with them because I wanna make sure they understand what we're doing with these two-way lights. I went in and marked them an X and that was supposed to be an O, but it looks like a diamond. So I put a diamond over here too. This is the extra outlet. We don't know what we're gonna do with. I'm gonna put the fan switch here for the here. If you recall, there's supposed to be three boxes here. One for the fans, but they didn't put it in. And this is an extra one and there's an extra one. So I'm gonna put the fan switch for the living room over there. This is a two way back to the X over there. And here I was gonna have one switch for these lights. I'm gonna put two switches in here, one for right here, sitting out here in the evening. And then the second one will be for the front of the house in the driveway, the effect lighting. Do you hear me keep talking about the infamous Black Rock? The Black Rock, not the military contractor, but the Black Rock. So they brought us a sample. We had picked out something very, very similar to this, but it was in already put together in like a tile formation. But they found these um, at no additional cost to us. So we're gonna go with these. This is actually a, it's not a man-made thing. You can see the striations in the layers there in the rock. Um, so it's real rock. It's some kind of slate, it looks like. <clears throat> Anyhow, that's what we'll go up these that I've been talking about a hundred times. One more time, there, 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 and the two posts out there once they get done with them. So yeah, it looks pretty good, I like it. It's like I said, it's natural stone, so that's good. I didn't even hesitate. As soon as I seen it, I said, that's fine. Got this formed up already this morning. And I got the rebar done. They must have got up early. As we seen last night, that was only half done and no forms, but it's all done now. And I already cut my pins off my plates. I didn't think they'd do that yet. Oh, they welded them on there. See the burn marks. So it looks like we're gonna have to do steel building. Well, steel roof supports, rebar chairs. If you think back a little bit, rebar chairs under there, it's touching a little bit over there. I'll just make sure they get something under there. Or I'll just walk out there and throw something under there. I'm also guessing that they will have concrete in here this morning sometime. And I don't think I have any other projects for today. I just want to get that thing done over there before it got too hot this morning and it is done. So we're just going to sit back and wait for that concrete truck to show up and the electricians. The electric guys are here, and the CPAC trucks here. See that? All right, I gotta get some pit out here to uh, go over these switches with these guys. It's kind of a different looking form. I haven't seen these here before. Almost looks like they're plastic, some kind. Let's have a piece of steel through the center of for rigidity. Yeah, it's overkill on that thing. That rebar and everything, way more than I need for a little freaking pump house, but hey, it is what it is. Right, if anybody's wondering, I had to pay 40000 to do this. I thought it was a little high, but now that I see everything they did, I don't think it's high for what I'm getting. But again, I think it's overkill. Look at how wet that is. self leveling and concrete. Guarantee my concrete didn't look like that yesterday. This is why they like it wet, right here. She's talking about the water in the fields. It's, they started flooding over there last night, as I think I indicated in that other video. It was an earlier clip. But hell, it's encroaching over here, so I'm not going to be able to park back there in a minute if they keep sending us water. We're going to go talk to this electrician here in a minute. One thing about self leveling concrete, it takes about three minutes to smooth it out. And that's about all he's been working on this. 
maybe five. They got done, they had the concrete truck dump some leftover concrete in this tub, then they started asking me where I wanted it. I'm like, I don't know, I'm not ready for it. He didn't tell me. I said they should put it right here. So now he ran over here to start getting these ready, but they should have did this this morning instead of sitting over here for an hour and a half waiting for the truck. If I'd have known this yesterday morning, I would have just did our concrete while he was here today. But I didn't know. We started mixing and we couldn't stop. Moving toward late afternoon, thought I'd come over and check on the slab. Looks like it's doing good. I have to be careful with copyrights. This is a pretty famous song in Thailand. Now we just got to get some walls and a roof on it. Not sure why they got those clear out in the middle of the damn room though. That just seems silly to me, but not much else. We went through all the electrical with the, uh, I don't know how you say electric in Thai, but the Huana electric guy. Made sure we're all on the same page with where the two-way switches go and some of the boxes have two switches in them. Like one for a light, one for a fan. We went through all those. Made sure we're all on the same page. I think they got it. So we'll just have to watch now. Make sure they're pulling double sets of wires where they need to. Hotter than hell earlier. It's clouded up now, so it's cooled off a little bit, and it actually sprinkled for about five minutes. Not enough to even get anything wet. Flooded fields are still invading us. I'm not sure what's going on and who controls that. That field's over there flooded, and there's been people over there snagging snails for the last two days. Yeah, so I was going to go over to Eddie's tonight. I messaged him a couple hours ago. Well, probably an hour ago now. And he hasn't replied, so I don't know if he's going to be home tonight or not. I haven't been over there in quite a while. we are just crazy busy, as you guys know. See, I think that's from being dry for that week. This is the bean the cow ate. He got a hold of the bottom of it somehow and killed it. So I don't know if we'll have another update today, because the only thing that's really going on is pulling wire and drying concrete. Beautiful morning in paradise. We actually had rain last night overnight. First time it's rained in three months, and I'm not exaggerating. We had one little, I wouldn't even call it a sprinkle yesterday. Cause it, it had a few drops hit the roof of this thing. I heard them, and that was it. Um, and then about three weeks ago, we had about a five-minute little shower you saw in the video. Other than that, since about the middle of December till right now, which is the middle of March, nothing so it's been three months but it was a pretty good rain we had puddles on the road coming in this morning this field right here not this one but the one right there with the water in it, the first one on this side of the trees had a small amount of water in the corner of it yesterday but now it's pushed clear halfway out across the field now so they're, they're letting more and more water in here my concern is that in a couple of days it's going to be over here in ours so i'm probably going to have to get vacated out of there pretty quickly and the other thing today is I got an air admittance valve. My son in the U.S. sourced it for me, had it shipped over here. This works when you don't have vents. It's actually, it lets air in, but won't let water back out the top. Um, it's going to go under the kitchen sink. And basically when the P-trap comes out, it'll go over to a, a like a T to drop. The water will drop down the drain pipe. We'll put a T there and above that T at least... 10 centimeters, four inches, this thing will sit. And so when the water goes past and drops down the T, it'll be able to pull air in behind it. It works just like a vent instead of running all the way up to the roof. Wonky wall survived the rainstorm last night. It wasn't really a rainstorm, but uh, yeah, it's still standing. Made it through one night. All right, let's get over to the house, see what we got on our slab. Doesn't look like the rain hurt my slab any. All right, so now I've got decisions to make. Um, I'd like to get a tank in here, start using a tank with a level controller and turn that well water on and off and put a pressure pump here for these guys here to use rather than leaving my pump run all the time. Problem is I really don't want to fill this pad up and then try to build around it. So I just got to weigh my options and figure out what I want to do. We'll bring the sink drain down, run through the P, come across the P into a T right under here. And as I said a minute ago, um, this needs to be at least four inches or 10 centimeters above the T where the drain pipe comes into it <clears throat> i will put it up as high as we can get it up under the counter because the higher you get it the less likely you are to get water up in there but this is like a check valve basically <clears throat> i think it's uh like a a ball sitting in there 
like I'd say a ping pong ball and it just lets air fly and when the water comes up there it floats the ping pong ball up and shuts it off. I think it's that simple. We won't put the pee right at the bottom of the sink. We'll get it dropped down and get this up above it. That's the plan. Air admittance valve, Amazon. Electrical people be back tomorrow. Um, as I said, we went through everything. This was my doings here, but two-way switch, two-way switch, and I just identified an X here and an X there so that they know this two-way goes to that one. The diamond here goes to the diamond over there. And then I just, we walked through it all. I got markings around here for them, and they understand it all. I assume this is to get electrical in and out. Why they would put it clear out in the middle of the floor is beyond my realm of thinking. I know you can't pull it up because it'll kink it, and that's what they did in there, and ended up having to dig the whole thing up. But why wouldn't you just swing it over this way and put it against the wall here, or swing it this way and put it against the wall there? And, and I didn't catch it, so it's partially my fault, but they're the professionals, not me. They should have caught that. That's just silly to put it out in the middle of the room like that. The other issue I found, found, and I've got to talk to Duke about. So Walmart lights typically have a a base to them that mounts to the wall, and they pop the light out away from the wall a little ways, and then the light fixture either runs up or down or both ways. Well, one of the problems here is that trim is right above there. So if I try to go do a two-way light up and down, I think it's going to hit that trim because that trim is like inch and a half thick, and most of those lights only stick out an inch, maybe an inch and a half at the most. So I think it's gonna run into that trim. And the bigger problem is right here with this one, where they popped the wire out was right behind the trim. So the trim guy just tucked the wire down from behind the trim. So if I even try to mount a light between those two pieces, the light's gonna hit top and bottom. So <clears throat> I think what we need to do is put Take another two pieces of trim probably and just make a block right there with the wire sticking out the middle to just mount the light on and then duplicate that over there. We'll get with Duke and figure that out. All right, so here's what I was talking about. This is scrap pieces of trim. There's a couple bags of them here. What I was thinking is we just take a couple of these, cut them the same length, right? Just make a square block, mount these to the wall with the wire sticking out in the middle and it'll give us a nice square uh, raised block to mount the light on. So we ran to Cantalac. Went to Global House, ordered my ceiling insulation. I got the R27, which is the second one from the thickest. It's three inch insulation. My hat, I forgot my hat at the house. This one's in the truck, so I threw it on. Uh, so we just got back. Water's running, as you can see. I gotta go see what's going on, because I don't think anybody's doing concrete. See some guy over here freaking washing his shoes or some damn thing, or feet. In that big well, just so he can wash his feet. We're just busy pulling wire. Duke was here earlier. Uh, somebody asked about CCTV. That's what this box is. Up, up here is for, it's for CCTV. I'm putting one there, one down here. Two on that corner and two on the back corner. That'll get all sides of the house covered. I need to make sure that guy knows that CCTV goes in here, not out there. Katok cup, CCTV. No, me, my knee, me, no. Right here. Yep. Song. Yep. Song, song, no, no. Cup, cup, cup. Uh, we also picked up the uh, ceiling exhaust fans for the two bathrooms, so we've got those available when we need them. Uh, the guys, the house guys, looks like they've been trenching here all day. Well, that's not going to be very deep. They told me a half meter. That is not a half meter down. That's about friggin' 10 centimeters in some spot. But uh, anyhow, they got this corner column done here. They got this corner post done. They're still going to skim coat it which is why it's set back from the post. They'll skim coat it flush with that. We're gonna put some lights on top of them. And they just got started on this one. Duke was here earlier. I paid him off on this slab here and he asked me, if, now I wanted a price on the post. I said, give me a price on the whole damn thing. I want you to do the whole thing. The just first number you gave me was too much. That guy washed his feet and walked off.
The pump's still running. Okay, so I got here. The pump was running. I went over there. Some guy was washing his feet, as you've seen. He gets in the truck and leaves. I look over. The pump's still running. I come over to the pond. This pond has raised, I don't know. I told them four inches, six, uh, 10 centimeters, but it's probably closer to six or eight inches. So that thing had to be running all day long while I was gone. So I told both bosses, they need to freaking tell their people, shut it off when they're finished. But I, I know that thing was running all day. It had to be. It raised the pond level.